This is a collar. This is a collar. And these are also collars. And each of them work differently. It's important to choose the right collar for your dog, understand how it works, and ensure it's fitted properly. I'm Robert Cabral. I'm a dog trainer and a behavior expert. Today we're going to learn about the five most popular types of collars. A flat collar, a martingale collar, a choke collar, a pinch collar, and a slip lead. This is a flat collar. It simply attaches around your dog's neck and you snap the collar. It's important that it be snug enough that your dog can't pull out of it, but not so snug that it constricts your dog's breathing and makes them uncomfortable. Make sure you can put two fingers underneath here. It can't pull over her head. And be sure when you attach the leash to attach it to the D-ring. This is a martingale collar. It fits like a flat collar and it works like a choke. The good thing about the martingale is it never cinches too tight on your dog if fitted properly and it really protects your dog from escaping. Simply put it around the dog's neck, snap the buckle, and attach the leash to the D-ring. The collar's loose enough where Goofy could easily pull out, but because of the cinching action here, it can get snug enough to protect him from pulling away, but never pull him too tight as to choke him. This is a choke chain. To use it, simply feed the chain through the bottom ring. It'll make the shape of a P before you put it on your dog, like this. Once it's on your dog's neck, the chain will tighten to prevent your dog from escaping. Again, simply in the shape of a P, feed it over the front of your dog's face, onto the neck, simply attach your leash to the ring at the bottom, not one of the links, and you're ready to go. This is a pinch collar. To fit it on your dog, Simply pinch apart the small prongs and put it around your dog's neck. Make sure you fit it up nice and high and it should fit fairly snug. Once it's on your dog's neck, simply attach your leash to the D-ring and you might also consider hooking into a second collar such as a choke chain or a martingale for extra security. If the collar is big enough to slide over your dog's head like this, it's improperly fitted and I don't recommend you do it that way. This is a slip lead. It has a ring on one side with a rope fed through it. It'll go around your dog's neck. On the other end, a simple handle. Simply put your dog's head through the loop, snug down the leather stopper to assure your dog can't pull out of this, and you're ready to go.